One of the most common problems between players of all levels is having a slow start to a game. I know what it's like and you know what it's like too. And not even just from a player perspective, but from a team perspective. So understand the slow start by Minnesota, one of the best teams in the NBA, right? Number one in the West, number two in the league entirely, going against the Grizzlies without Job ja, Bain, Marcus Smart, Derrick Rose, right? Notice Anthony Edwards, his first attack, his first touch. Notice how he's going, how this going to result, right? He gets into his go move, <laughs> dribbles off his leg. <laughs> Hate to see those plays. They happen, right? But those are one of them plays that's just uncharacteristic usually, right? And notice how this adds up, right? Understand the efforts from the team. Notice these drives, right? Tillman, go bear on them. First straight line drive. That's 930 left in the first, right? Guess this pass, Jaron Jackson. Behind the back, straight line drive three minutes into the game, right? That's the second one, right? Now let's continue to watch. Now guess what's going to happen? Cat on Jaron Jackson, another one. This is 830 left in the first quarter. And this is the third straight line drive in a row. This team has no effort right now. They have no energy. How do you overcome this, right? It's not even just in. It's all players. They're all doing uncharacteristic, unhabitual things, right? And so, boom, cat, offensive foul. You're just trying to do too much and make up for all the bullshit you've been doing, right? And so, boom. Jaden McDaniels, too. Everybody fucking up right now, right? McDaniels, ball slips right out of his hands, right? This is a slow start. We all been through this. This bucket, he's about to score right here. This is only two points of the half, but this is a smart two points, right? Boom, post up, sees Jaron Jackson help, turns his back. Now, boom, knows what's going to happen. Turn away, Jaron Jackson leaves, right? And now he spins right back to get to this other side because Williams can't guard both sides of the rim, right? Smart attack, but notice what's going to keep happening though, right? You thought I was done. No. <laughs> you seen Cat fuck up, Ant, Rudy, Daniels. Now Conley's turn. Boom, get backdoored. Easy layup. They all fucking up right now. This is a slow start, lack of energy. This is a very slow start. And his second shot of the game, right? Boom, make that one for two. Miss, right? Swing again, another three. All right, one for two. Could he hit this? Uh, not today. In and out, miss, right? <laughs> one for three. Now he has this attack. All right, boom, he gets in lane. Nice Euro. That's an easy lay. Guess what? Smoke right one for four that's just the first quarter right now and so understand this is a slow start on all parts now how do you get out of this finally in the second quarter ant decides to be aggressive this is his first time he decides to try to get busy right but notice what he does <laughs> settle you got tillman on you now you decide to take a side step three from the from down the middle where you had no other looks throughout this quarter make that one for five throughout this game one for five in the first half two points got a deuce but now second half has occurred you go back to the locker room you look at the tablet you look at the box score our best player is one for five with two points we got to step the shit up you got to be aggressive right and so to overcome that slow start you got to begin to get aggressive but what does aggressive mean right it means to do this exactly right here which you're going to continue to see be just have the ball in your hand and use your gravity so you could be able to make plays right understand what's going to continue to occur he's not going to force his hand to take a bunch of jumpers what he's going to do instead right is run these actions see what's available tillman all the way over on this while he, he all the way over showing right so now williams recovers he trusts cat he pops now boom let's let cat get busy right pump fake right there now i could just hold my space cat could get to work right he's not trying to force his own shots just make sure you use your gravity right now once again this action right here with minnesota they ran this probably about three four times in the first half and ant just waved him off because he was getting top guarded now in the second half what is ant gonna do use the exact counter for the top guard right jaron jackson steps over late he just goes up not even close to get into the rim but he gets the foul right that's being aggressive looking for plays to be made within a play at this point and gets off the screen with Gobert, right? What do I have? Boom, Conchard's all the way over on this nail. Then you got Aldama right here, and then you got the defender trailing. I don't trust this pocket, right? I don't trust throwing that pocket to Gobert. So boom, I get here, get a little deep, give it to Con give it to Conley. Conchard jumps. I relocate, get out. Now boom, show eyes, hesitate for a second. Now I get into the middle, throw that up to Gobert. I don't know how the fuck that got in. He's just making the right play, actually being aggressive. Aggressive doesn't mean to shoot. 
Aggressive just means to seek to make plays. And now another pick and roll. It's a very similar set, right? And remember the last play when he went right and Conchar was sitting on that nail? Notice this adjustment right here by Ant. This is being a player, being aggressive at the same time as well, right? Since Conchar was on that nail last time, he couldn't get much further right. What he's going to do now is he cuts back to that left. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of snakes this to where he's now getting to this left side where Tillman is not going to help off Cat. So now get into this area, boom, gets that left, lefty, and one. These in-game adjustments and changes allow him to now get his looks and be able to get these shots off, right? Smart player, right? Very smart player. Now another opportunity right here with Ant, right? Back screen occurs right there by Rudy. Understand what's about to occur once again right here, right? He's going to end up getting left and cap once again, my bad, right click. Cat, once again, sitting right here in his left corner. Is Tillman going to help? No, he is not. So once he gets here, pump fake on Conchar. He don't got help except for Aldama, who's dropping back for Rudy. Boom. Get into the body. Foul. Let me get my free throws now. This is a smart game, man. This is a smart game. And now on this play, though, you see that Iverson cut? If he just stopped right there for a second, held up Williams Jr., right? Shoulder hand. That's an easy two because even Peep Kennard not focused right but he missed that no problem right gets this catch and he's gonna at least make this read right here with williams right williams jumps out super aggressive defender the entire time so you see that jump out he's not able to get a hand on the ball i go the other way because you're giving me that whole lane right and so now i got this whole lane to the left that little change of pace is extremely vital as well and so understand the importance of that too right because look at Aldama's movement I got to slow this down even more I got to slow this down even more right so 0.5 speed peep this as he gets past here and gets into this lane get this driving angle look at Aldama's movement right he stops Aldama watch this he's dropping back thinking oh he's gonna go to Gobert because that slow down makes him think all right he could pass that he understands his looks but instead nope I use that as momentum boom get straight to that left he ain't no rim protector another bucket he's building this is how he's building his rhythm he's not taking no tough shots right now either a lot of these are just lays and just pull-ups the tough shots gonna be for later when he is hot and he's got a bunch of these easy looks now understand this too you see that right there he sent him through that's gonna make the whole play that's about to make the whole play look give it up to conley sends mcdaniels through and by sending McDaniels through, that sets up everything. Because watch Kennard. He turns his back and begins to chase McDaniels, right? And so you have an empty corner and no weak side defender, help defender, right? And so now he's in about to get into this cross screen, you know what I'm saying? Right here with Cat. And so he sets this up. Boom. Too slow. Got hit by Cat already. You're not keeping up. Lob pass goes over the top. Kennard just looking. Bomb dunk by Ant. <laughs> Building rhythm with the easy buckets, right? Making plays within the play and making sure you get everything set before you go so the looks you get are easier. Before y'all seen that crazy play by Ant, this happened. Kennard hit his about fifth three of the quarter. And look what Ant's about to do. Look over, scratch his motherfucking head. Ah, oh, shit. Motherfucker scratches his head. Ah, uh, damn. I don't know. But, hey, <laughs> you about to get fried, my boy. Island work. Watch these, right? I tell y'all, if you want to get past bigs, Make a move. Make a move. Because once you make a move and you make them break their stance, how hard do you think it is for a player of that size to get recalibrated and get set as a defender? Extremely difficult. They never train for this, right? They only taught how to play with strength, how to play with size, but not how to be agile. They don't train to do that, right? So at this point in time, he is cooked. He is fried like Popeye's chicken, right? Boom, hits that tween, drops back once again. Boom, pump fake, you're cooked once again. Boom, guess what? Off the glass and got down. Motherfucker, two hands off the glass. That's tough. And so you got this double screen occurring with Gobert. He goes to Gobert's side, right? And you remember that one play where he cut back to that left when Cap was sitting in that left corner, right? Remember that play? And so now I feel as though this may be a situation where Gobert and Ant, they're both in sync and understand this action is, and that Gobert could be able to screen the player that's down low so Ant could get a better look, right? May have used that play to that set up a future play, right? So now Ant gets here, cuts down, Gobert hits Jaron Jackson, and gets an easy two right there at the rim. 
that little communication between teammates, whether it was verbal or nonverbal, right? They both matter. So as a ball handler, you need patience. And as a screener, as a roller, you need IQ. In this situation, Ant's already seen this coverage 10 times, 15 times already in this game. So why waste your focus thinking about what's going on up here while you have a whole bunch of other shit to read? You got three other variables, right? And most specifically, you got this variable right here in Jaron Jackson Jr., right? And so he's reading Jaron Jackson Jr. Nikhil Alexander-Walker filling out to that corner. Jackson, boom, continues to move out. He doesn't tag. Ant, left hand pass over the top, straight to Gobert. Guess what, though? Gobert sells it. <laughs> he just be he just be selling assists, bro. I'll, I'll be high I'll be low key a little heated, bro. Cause that's one one to two assists the game. That shit look a little nice when the media members decide to go and look at the stats and shit. So now Gobert smoked that first one, and then he gets that one. It's like, come on, man. It's tough. And so now, right? Understand three minutes, up six, right? What's about to occur? Switch occurs. Finally end up getting the switch. All this work it then did, finally stretch the defense out, calmly shuffling down to that corner, open up this wing for me to stretch out this coverage, right? So now I got Tillman on me, right? What I say about bigs, about mismatches, people who are slow, make a move, right? Williams trying to go in double, boom, make it tough. Step back, hit him with a cross, hit him with a step back. He don't got the agility to cover that over the top. I don't even see a hand. Bucket. Remember the Jaron Jackson play on the tag on this weak side? Right now it's Kennard, right now it's Kennard. He comes off the screen. Kennard is already there to tag. So Ant has already made this read, and as he's stepping over, straight to McDaniel's. And even though Memphis would want to live with this, too bad, cause even though you live with it, you got burned. When guarding these ball screens, if this defender and this defender are not in sync, meaning they know where they want to send the ball and know exactly what coverage they want, it's gonna be extremely tough to guard. Because just look at Williams and Tillman. Where is he? What is he trying to do? If you just looked at him and said, what is he trying to send the ball? I don't know what he's trying to do. What is Tillman trying to do? I don't know. Either one, I don't know. And so if the slightest bit of getting hit by the screen and the defensive player not being in the right spot off the screen is going to put you in a position to where you just have no help, right? So boom, Tillman is not there. Williams is already getting blown by and it gets to the rim. And that was probably some of the easiest basketball he didn't played in that second half and all those simple buckets he got just by simply being aggressive. So if you want to overcome these slow starts when it, come, when it comes to these games and if you're just super passive at times or your team lacks energy, make sure that everybody's using their gravity effectively and not seeking for me to get these points or me to get buckets, but for our team just to score as a whole.